there YouTubers. I sure hope you can hear me over the sound of the air conditioner running. Gonna do dinner outside tonight. Um, this is a recipe I saw somewhere on YouTube a while back and I thought gee I'd like to try that with a minor variation and I can't remember what channel I saw it on so if it's somebody that's watching me and it was yours thanks and if it wasn't yours well hey maybe this will work out good and then again it might be a disaster. What I'm gonna do is make kind of a potato and cheese pie. Oh, there the air conditioner went off. So potato and cheese pie and instead of a regular crust the, what would normally be the position of the crust we're going to use bacon. So let's get started on this and the first thing I'm going to do is take a chunk of parchment paper and cut it. So let's aim the camera down and take a look. What I want to do is get approximately a square. Because I want to basically turn it into a round. And the way you do that with parchment paper is you fold it in half. And you fold it in half again. Okay, and then we're going to fold it in half again and again and again. Now we're going to lop off the edge. A little bit of water in my frying pan. I'm making a small dish tonight because first off, only me and my son, I could have made that a little bit smaller. I'm going to cut it smaller and I don't know if you'll like this. My Judy is at work so there's no point in figuring on dinner for all of us. Parchment paper is going to be so this doesn't stick. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, um, James doesn't like his potatoes with peel, so I'm going to peel the potatoes. You've seen potatoes peeled before, so I'll skip that the rest of that on the video. Next thing I got to do, I've got my round piece of parchment paper. I've got my couple of peeled potatoes, but I'm not going to use them just yet. I need to make the crust. So what I've got is about a pound of fairly thinly sliced bacon. And you may remember in one of my previous videos, I did some bacon weaving. Well, I'm going to do that again. And we'll just see what happens with this. So we're laying down, remember going back to my weaving stuff, this is the warp threads. And now we'll start with the weft threads. Weave these in. And it's a very loose weave because you can see there's openings in it. That's okay. I don't need to right now. And this is going to be, in effect, the crust of our pie. I think we'll go for one more piece of bacon in the weft. need a little bit more bacon for the top crust but let's see how this works so we've got our I'm using a small frying pan because first off this is an experimental recipe secondly because it's only me and James tonight so there's our pie crust all nicely set into the pan see that, that oh that looks nice already so we'll set that aside now I'm going to take and thinly slice a potato. I guess I'm getting these maybe an eighth of an inch. 
a little bit thicker than a potato chip, but certainly not a very thick slice either. We will start to layer our first layer of potatoes into the bottom of our frying pan, our parchment and bacon lined frying pan. Okay, there's the first half. Now, the next thing we're going to do, put in a little bit of onion. I want this onion to be really, really thin, so I'm going to take out this little really thin slicer mandolin that my wife just picked up. These are like potato chip thickness. And I'm not using a lot of onion. So there we go, we've got our first layer of potato and onion. And now we're going to put in a second layer of potato. Do that over here in the middle where you can see it better. We need a little bit of seasoning in here. So we're going to use first a little bit of mild cayenne. A little bit of black pepper. I know I should be using fresh crack, but that would mean I'd have to load the fresh crack machine and I don't feel like it right now. There's a little bit of black pepper. You throw on a little bit of kosher salt. Next thing is going to be some shredded cheese. Starting out with mild cheddar. doesn't look like enough, so we're going to add a sharp cheddar. Next layer of potato. This one's got a bad bruise, we're just going to cut that out and set it over in the garbage. layer of potato, another layer of cheese. And a little bit more potato. And we'll make this um, a nice fancy crisscross type crust. There is our pie ready to go on the grill. All right, you can see the fire. I'm not gonna worry about getting my grate clean because it's in a frying pan. And I'm not going directly over the fire, you can see that too. So I've got everything in there. Over, I'll probably come out in about a half an hour and add more coals and turn this thing around. 
But I think that'll be it for now. I, I'm going to hope that I can be done cooking this in a little over an hour. So there you go. That's my uh, attempt at a potato and cheese pie with a bacon crust. I'm going to open it up, check the condition of the coals, add a few I think, and poke the uh, fork into the potato and cheese pie just to see how it's doing. Looks good, but the potatoes still feel pretty pretty raw. So we're going to turn this around again and let it continue to cook. Well it's been about an hour and a half since this went on. I've added uh, coals to it once. Let's open up. I'm, I think it should be done this time. How's that look? Yeah, I can, I can poke into the potatoes. I think that's done. Let's uh, grab a hot pad and move it over onto the table. And we'll put it onto a plate. I sure hope you can hear me over the air conditioner that's only about 10 feet in back of the camera. Here's going to be the hard part. I want to get this out of the frying pan. This is going to be a two-handed operation and hopefully I don't spill anything. Let's see if I can do this. I spilled a little bit of grease, but that's okay. So now I'm going to see if I can pull off the parchment paper. Look at that. It's still bubbling. The bacon's a little bit on the crispy side on the bottom. I can deal with that. The wind blew my napkin away. The wind blew the parchment paper away. I'm not having good luck today with the wind. Let's see if we can um, cut into this guy. Put it onto a plate. Time to have a taste test of this thing. Remember, this is a brand new recipe. I've never tried this before. I might not like it. Then again, I might. So we've got bacon on the edge and potato and cheese in the middle. Hmm. I think it needs to bake Maybe a slightly lower temperature for a little bit longer. The flavor is pretty good, but the bacon's a little bit crispier than I normally like it. That's what happens when you try a new recipe. It's an experiment. And for the last 20 minutes or so, I did have it directly over the coals instead of off the side, which is where I started. That may have been a mistake too. Overall, if I have to give this a grade, you know, 8F, their typical grading standard. I'm going to give it a B, maybe a B plus. The flavor is good, the texture is a little bit off on the bacon being overcooked. So we'll give it a B. Anyways, that's a quick cooking video for tonight. I do appreciate everybody who is a subscriber to my channel having uh, watched this. Thanks a million for being there for me. If you're not a subscriber, I certainly would appreciate it if you would subscribe. What more can I say? Thanks a million, folks. I do appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.